Hey family, we are back for another week of morning motivation and I am switching it all the way up. Anybody knows me, they know that Jackie loves to keep it real. And so today I wanted to just kind of pull back and dig deeper into some real issues that real women are facing. I believe that as a result of listening to some of these questions, your life will be blessed. So let's take one question. I wanted to touch on a topic that has really been coming up a lot, um, but I've internalized and okay. it's rejection. Okay. And rejection um, was something we actually talked about on Sunday during mm -hmm. prayer. And mm -hmm. it's something that um, has been a deep insecurity for me. It's one thing I've never really shared with anybody. Okay. And so when you and I prayed about it, um, one of the things I'm battling with is mm -hmm. God gave me a promise. And my promise was dealing with who my husband was supposed to be. Okay. And in the midst of that promise, um, it don't look like that. And okay. I'm feeling a sense of rejection. Okay. And I think a lot of times it's this notion of kind of where I am, you know, in my life right now that this is, you know, you, everything should be good and it shouldn't be an issue that I'm dealing with, but the reality is I am dealing with it. Mm. And so I guess looking to you, um, you're someone that I definitely look up to, I admire, wanting to know specifically how should I be dealing with rejection in the midst of with what you talked about, expecting, right, mm -hmm. on the path, on the journey to where God is supposed to take me, having the faith enough of Ruth in okay. the moment to follow Naomi, wow. even yeah. though Oprah heard what Naomi said, mm -hmm. rejection, I'm leaving, I don't want to hear it, and I think that's the battle I'm dealing with. How do I deal with rejection in the midst of God's promise? You brought up a lot of, lot of great points. I love your honesty to recognize that there are times where people will say that you j just kind of push it aside and not shot push it aside and not deal with it. The reality is, is we actually encounter things, whether we should deal with them or not, we are. And that's the first step. The recognition and abil the ability to say, God, this is what's presently in my life, gives him the invitation to come in to deal with it. And so that's just the start of it. Um, I would say our willingness to, as we are hearing the Lord and making our decisions on what we're expecting of the Lord, to make sure that we stay in the Father's face and we don't get into the place where we feel as if we have to bring about the thing that he said, right? Hold loosely to our promises and hold tightly to the promise, the person who gives the promise. And I think as a result of recognizing two things, you first have to recognize that you're already accepted. You're not waiting on the promise of any husband, any job, any anything for that matter, to recognize that you've already been blood bought. You've already, um, he already paid for your value on the cross that he literally, if he had to do it again today, would make the decision to do that. Um, has to be something that you could become fully acquainted with. It can't be something, Bianca, that you hold loosely where it's some cl church cliche that PJ says that I get excited about in a moment, but in the times where you feel your life, man, I'm believing the Lord for this. And if this doesn't come to be, I'm going to make the decision that the outcome will produce rejection for me. You have to automatically untie those two things. An outcome can never produce the fact that you feel accepted. You already are accepted. One thing that I believe is when you recognize that it allows a father to be able to bring the thing that he desires to bring when he desires to bring it, how he wants to bring it, whether that's another person or it's that person or in whatever time and he wants to, it's dangerous for him to bring something that you will attach to being accepted. So you have to be willing first to settle with yourself. I'm already a daughter of the Most High God. I've already been fearfully and wonderfully made. I've already been chosen as the apple of his eye and fearfully and wonderfully made. And I am everything to him. And I don't need anything externally to actually make that to be a truth. So I hope that helps.